In this video, we're going to show you how to use the document word add-in to set up fields, logic, and calculations into your Word documents. At this point in the process, you will have already set up your questions, meaning the data that you're gathering, in the document interface. So that's where all of the variables we'll see are coming from. Here, I've selected my workflow in the dropdown. For this example, I'm using the employee offer letter workflow. Now, the first thing I'll show you is how to set up simple variables. Simple variables are a little bit like mail merge, where we're taking values and we'll allow, we're allowing them to be plugged in directly into the document. So here, for example, we have an address block. So we'll want to enter some information that we want to go in the address block. In this case, we'll choose the employee's name. Then we will choose the street address, and we will also add in the city state zip. We can format all of these. So if we wanted the employee's name to appear in uppercase in certain spots in all caps, we could have used the format as uppercase option. To do any other formatting options, so for example, to bold or underline, I can actually just go ahead and bold, italicize, or underline any section inside of my document. Now, the real power of Document comes from more complex features, including conditional logic. So let me give you an example of that. Here we have a phrase in this letter that says your spouse will also receive benefits. Now we only want this phrase to appear if the person is married. So if the, the marital status is married. What we'll do is we'll click on the show phrase when tab right here. Then we can choose our conditions. So we'll say show phrase when marital status, which is one of our variable names, yours may be different, is married. I can choose any variable name here. Then I will go ahead and drag my cursor over the piece that I want to be conditional, and I'll click insert condition. Now, as you can see here, these bookends have been inserted because of this condition. So you don't need to learn how to write any of this syntax, but you can read that it says if marital status is married, which is the opening bookend, and then end if after that. So now if the marital status is married, this paragraph and this sentence will show up inside of my document. If marital status is not married, then this will be completely taken away from my document. Now, a few more things I want to show you in the word add-in are numerical calculations and date calculations. Numerical calculations allow us to take any numbers that we had inside of our workflow and add, subtract, multiply, divide, or do complex equations with them. I can also format them in any way I want. And date calculations allow us to calculate dates. So I can either calculate the length of time between two dates, or I can add and subtract time from a date. So for the length of time between two dates, I might be asking for someone's date of birth inside of the workflow and then calculating their age. For the add or subtract time from a date, I might be calculating two years from a date or subtracting a certain amount of time from a date. And finally, we have our repeating items. So repeating items, uh, we do have a separate video on this, but just a brief overview of this. You can format repeating item questions inside of your document in, a, in multiple different ways. The most basic way would be to have them as a list or as a table, but you can also insert them inside of paragraphs or inside of text with comma separated values. And whether you use the comma or the Oxford comma, we have options for both of those for you. So this concludes the video on the basics on the word add-in. Please watch our other videos for more details.